Hey, it's Neil Gortz here. Let's get questing in Dragon's Dogma. Um, I've asked for you to give me your game tag so I can go questing with your pawns. I've had about 200 through so far. So let's see what I get up to with them. All right, first off, we come across a much better posse than mine's, and, and who's this guy? Well, well. <laughs> the Arisen. Toast of all Grand Sorin. Does the work of all mankind's savior truly afford the time to go hunting petty thieves? If you insist on a game of cat and mouse, what say we see which role you'll feel? Yeah, so we should be concentrating on killing this massive dragon, but uh, one of the many side quests that you get in this game, this one in particular, is go and find an evil wizard that's stolen the Duke's ring, because, you know, why not? So here we are, he's, he's clearly evil because he's got an evil voice and he's clearly got a much better posse than I do. But he's quite easily taken down. But what's this? Oh, he's gonna escape. And so begins about a two hour quest this took me. It was about two hours from start to finish to do this little side quest. Um, for this mission, uh, you're seeing me, my main character, who I've called Loki, I can't remember why, and my main pawn, uh, who's called Sir Gortz, is modelled after my best friend Louis, just because it makes me laugh every time uh, Louis saves me from danger. And one of the first things we came across on tracking down this evil wizard was a group of snow harpies. Um, fight pretty much like regular harpies, but a little bit tougher. And yeah, for this one, I've taken Community Pawn's uh, Sir Bob as my mage to do all the healing, and Ivana as uh, the muscle, the tank of the group. Um, she is about a seven foot tall woman who insists on wearing the same armor as uh, my main Arisen, which is kind of embarrassing but you know I'll just get on with it as you can see she wields a massive hammer and we've got Sir Bob here healing us all up now you can stick to the roads it's safer on the roads but I decided to off-road it a bit and wandered straight into this bandit camp where I got my butt handed to me I've recently changed from a uh, two-handed hammer to going on to um, sword and shield, so I'm still learning how to use this. Everyone says the best classes in Dragon's Dogma are in fact uh, the wizards, but I have an inherent distrust of all things magic, so I'm saving that for last. And uh, yeah, ah, oh, poor Sir Bob got knocked down there. This happened to Sir, Sir Bob several times in the battle. So with the bandits defeated, uh, across the next crag is more dire wolves than I've ever seen in my life, so I could have let them all walk past, but I thought, nah, let's get stuck in. And then next, tracking down this wizard, uh, We've come, we've come across a group of undead warriors. So straight from the bandits, close call with them, straight into uh, undead warriors. A tough, a real tough battle this one was actually. And no sooner had we found those skeletons than it was, uh, than it was back to Bandit City in these crags. Great place for an ambush, as my pawns told me non-stop. And yeah, ran into a group of heavily armed bandits who started raining arrows down on me. And of course, none of my guys have uh, bows and arrows, so I could have chosen my group a little bit better. One of the things about Dragon's Dogma is you can stop and change your group if you come across a stone. So if you're you're lacking something from the, the party, in this case, I should have probably doubled back and got an archer. Traded Ivana in for something that has ranged combat, but no, I decided to plow on. So here I am, uh, thinking I'm going to get the easy drop on some harpies. Easy pickings for some XP grinding, and there's a treasure chest up there that I'm going to have a look in. But, uh-oh, what's this coming to life? It's a massive enchanted golem. Still 
still relatively small in terms of the, some of the creatures you battle in Dragon's Dogma, but there's nothing to do but get stuck into it. Thankfully it has these glowing purple weak spots <laughs> that's, that's animating this big stone beast to life. Um, so quite handily they, that, that sort of tells you how you should take it down. That was a big clue because normally I struggle, but uh, here we go. You just gotta hang on for dear life and hack away. Everyone gets stuck in. This is where Ivana the tank really uh, really comes into play with her massive hammer. And Sir Bob does her very best to keep us all alive as this thing struts about. I'm about level 30 here so far, so I've been playing on and off for about 6 months. You can level much, much higher than this, but I like to give Dragon's Dogma a good 3 or 4 hour bash each time. And slowly but surely I've been leveling up and getting on with the story. Yes, such a tremendous feeling of achievement when you get to take down something so big. Good effort, team. Good effort. Down in a blaze of glory. Yes, nice work. So we can linger here a little bit to, uh, to get some of the loot that this drops. That'll be used in enchanting items later and then we come on to the uh, the wizard's stronghold the blooming tower which i've uh, raided in a previous quest but this time it's populated by the wizard's henchmen um all of them very good archers and again i'm i'm feeling the lack of an archer in my team i should have probably changed that up i did have the opportunity to do so twice but i decided just to soldier on and i'm getting picked apart by archers they give me a real rough time there's sir bob gone down again And it's up to me to swashbuckle up these stairs to try and take on the bad guys. One thing I do have in my sight is all deep water in Dragon's Dogma contains uh, monsters that will kill you instantly, so you've got to avoid deep water. So thankfully these guys stand by a ledge without a safety barrier, allowing me to, uh, to, to kick them off and shorten combat down a little bit. That was a... Pretty badass jump, I think you'll all agree. Oh yes, nice hammer blow. He didn't stand a chance. So like I say, I've raided this one before, so I had an idea of where the wizard was going to be holding out. Previously, I fought a massive griffin in this very tower, and it wrecked the tower. You'll see some of the damage that the griffin did later. Let me just take care of these guys. Chop, 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 and chop. Yeah, I've not started to unlock all because I was I was training on like the the double-handed hammer. I've not unlocked all the sweet combat moves yet for sword and shield. So I'm relying on Ivana here to uh, to lay the smack down whilst I level up. Yes, go for it. Here we go. So. That was an archer, and then there's a, a magic archer as well, which rings down even more pain on me, so off you go. Yeah, he's bothering no one. Just about fell in there. That would have been a peach on camera. Okay, and it's, uh, it's time to regroup and gather up some loot, and then it's time to face the main bad guy. Stop for a quick pose, a quick heal. Now it's time to really get to work. Let's make our way up this is the only spot. So previously this is supposed to be a tower that's meant to have stood since the beginning of time and uh, when I went griffin hunting here uh, it got absolutely wrecked which is why there's all these precarious drops. If you land in that water it's game over, you will be eaten. So. In fact, the last time I did the Griffin raid, um, I, <laughs> I lost my two supporting pawns. Um, they were standing on those very platforms as the Griffin crushed them and they fell to their death. So, sorry about that. But as you're not featured in this video, you don't know who you are that died assisting me. So, no harm done. What you don't know won't hurt you. 
All right, and it's Wizard Smackdown time. You've come to your journey, then. Despite the fact that I've, I've chopped up all these harpies, I've beaten up all these bandits, fought all these dire wolves, rather than just give up the ring, uh, no, that's not good enough for this wizard. He decides to summon the undead to fight me. Again, clearly evil, you can tell by his red eyes. This was a real tough fight. You couldn't get close to the wizard. Uh, every time you did, he keep... Every time you got close to him, he just uh, put up a wall of fire, or if you were within striking distance, he just disappeared into a cloud of smoke. So it took me a while to realize that what, what I actually want you to do is just uh, fight the uh, the undead warriors, wear them down. Great teamwork by the pawns again. Always watch my back. Ouch. Yeah. Not a lot of magic resistance, so I had a hard time going up against the, the wizard. I got a real kick in. Even poor Sir Bob and Sir Gort, Savannah, we all we all got knocked out, so thankfully you can revive each other. Wizard defeated, time to, to leap back to Grand Soren and uh claim our reward. It was quite a good one. I think again I, I suffered from my lack of archer, but I can always fix that next time. If you want me to take your pawn out and put them on a video like this, um, drop me your gamer tag and we'll get it done. Thanks for watching.